up fam welcome back to leslie jones tarot this reading here is for my scorpio zodiac sign we're going to tap in and see what is coming towards you for the month of november you know just just a quick check in real fast let's see here what is coming towards scorpio in, in november 2021 please what is coming in for scorpio give me something good protection okay what's at the bottom travel okay and if you notice in both of these they look pregnant okay if you look at her the protection card she looks pregnant and if you look at the travel card she looks pregnant so some of you okay may be moving towards pregnancy or moving towards giving birth to some type of new beginning okay so we are going to clarify with the gilded royale guys just remember this is a generating so this may not resonate energies are fluid and interchangeable so they can cross if you need to please flip them clarify the protection energy oh yeah it's a fun for scorpio clarify this protection energy for scorpio you know we are in scorpio season clarify the protection energy for scorpio so happy birthday to all my beautiful sexy ass scorpios out there now yeah four of cups bottom of the deck okay so you have an opportunity coming in from the universe you just have to get the heck up and accept it okay stop stop slothing and stop sitting under this tree scorpio get up from under this tree all right so that you can receive your ten of cups okay some of us are stuck on relationships that uh, no longer need to be stuck on some of us are stuck stuck in jobs that we no longer need to be stuck on okay we trying to protect something that doesn't need to be protected all right and for others of us we need to just travel move on okay know that our know our value know our worth and we need to move forward here ace of wands brand new beginning all right brand new beginning passionate fiery um this is fa this is like fast type of energy too you know you, you draw to it it's really fast it's really hot you want to dive into it. It's something you enjoy. It's one of your passions. Something that really uh, pushes you and motivates you here. The judgment card. Making a decision. Okay. Judgment. Final decision. And the will of fortune. Change. Okay. The universe is turning in our favor. So let's clarify this judgment card real quick. What's the judgment about? Nine of Cups. Five of Pentacles. Yeah. We have been Scorpio. Okay. And I say we because I'm a Scorpio as well. We have been protecting a situation that does not need to be protected. It needs to be let go. It's no longer bringing us happiness. It's no longer bringing us wish fulfillment. It's no longer for us. Okay. Now this could be a past person, a relationship. This could be um, a new beginning that is meant for us, but we're holding on to something old so it can't it, it, it can't come through, right? So say, you know, this protection here, say you're pregnant and and and, and I'm just using this as a, as a example, okay? Right? You're pregnant. If you held on to the baby in your stomach forever, forever and ever, eventually it's not gonna work, right? The baby's gonna have to come out. So instead of staying in the stage of pregnancy, give birth to this new opportunity here. So we have to let go of the pregnancy stage. And move into the birthing phase okay and so a lot of times we hold on to relationships that no longer benefit us we hold on to jobs that no longer benefit us and we have to make the final decision you know pull it in front of you and look at it and say did this really make me happy or was this everything I ever wished no it's not anymore okay you've either outgrown it or you've moved on from it and sometimes you just have to let it go okay yeah brand new beginning ace of cups a lot of this is relationships okay a lot of these are relationships you need to let go of people that no longer bring you the nine of cups wish fulfillment that you that they once did okay now clarify the ace of wands for scorpio yeah six of wands look at there victory success recognition okay yeah and then seven of swords you're self-sabotaging yourself because you're holding on to this and don't get me wrong i'm guilty of this as well but you're holding on to this and you have to let it go so that this victory can come in for you, Scorpio. A lot of times we block our own blessings because we are so deep. Like when we love, we love deep and it's hard for us to let go because once we let go, that's it, right? So a lot of times we block our blessings. There may be someone on this side and the universe like, girl, Scorpio, <laughs> let that go so I can send you this. You only got two, you only got three, three empty cups over there. I'm trying to send you this full cup. That's going to bring you everything that you ever wish. It's going to be more than those three cups that were sitting on the side that you didn't get fulfillment from. Okay, so let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Scorpio. Ten of Cups. I can't make this shit up. Come on now. Ten of Cups. The universe is turning in our favor. All you have to do is let go, Scorpio. Let go. Stop protecting this disappointment. Look at there. Queen of Cups, Ten of Swords. 
let go of this pain. Let go of all of this burdening, the sadness, this heartache, this all of this. Let go of it so that you, Scorpio, Queen of Cups, can receive exactly what it is that you deserve, Scorpio. Okay? You need to travel. Yeah. Knight of Wands energy. You need to travel. You need to make a move here. Whether it's a job that you've been at, okay, or whether you're living with somebody, you're still not happy. It's time for you to get up and move. Get up and move. Let's see. So what else, what other messages do you have for Scorpio? So you have the Ten of Cups coming in for you. This is all your wishes and dreams coming true. You just have to be willing to accept that one cup from the universe. Trust the universe that the universe is going to bring you exactly what you've been asking for. Maybe in this old relationship, you were asking, I want to be happy. I want my old person back. I want to be with them. I, I want us to be in love. And they can't give you it. They can't. You have to... Put that, let that old fire burn out because there's no more wood to give it. You know, you can't give it any more wood to burn it. No, there's no more wood in the area. You got to move on. All right. Let's see. What other messages do you have for my beautiful Scorpios? Oh, yeah. Come on now. The sun. Look, open your heart to the enormous growth ahead. There is so much in front of you that you just can't quite see yet because you're still focused on this past energy. But once you let it go, Scorpio, you're going to receive, receive all the wishes and dreams that you've been hoping for. Everything, the home, the love, the children, the fur babies, you know, the, the new opportunities, the new job, the new money, the new successes, all of that stuff. Once you let go of this, if you're holding on with both arms, you can't, you can't receive anything else because you're holding on for dear life like this, right? But the moment you let go, you free yourself to welcome in exactly what it is that you've been wishing and hoping for okay the fire let go of emotional upheaval and embrace the renewal of the present i just said that <laughs> okay look at the fire you keep trying to feed a fire but you don't have anything to feed it so let that fire die out and relocate okay not not i'm not saying physically like literally but relocate and start up a new fire with fresh branches and things like that okay and then world, be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life. And again, Scorpios, we hold on for dear life to situations, to opportunities and, and things like that. And we hold and hold and hold to the point where we would end up hurting ourselves before we hurt someone else. But what we have to realize is it's time to let go. Okay, time to let go and time to open up to new possibilities and new opportunities. So that old person that you've been holding on to, let them go. They're, they've already gone. They're already out the door. We're just still holding on to hope. Let them go. And then turn this way and look at this new opportunity that's coming in because it's bringing you everything that you've ever wanted. All right. So this is your beautiful reading, Scorpio. I hope this gives you clarity and insight. I appreciate you so much for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.